What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 21. We start stage just off with a brief look at the league table. As you can see, nine games to go. We currently sit in eighth. We're four points off the three teams above us. Munchen, Gladbach, Leverkusen and Stuttgart in fifth, sixth and seventh. Obviously, as we know, only the fifth and sixth places will give you European football, Europa League and Europa Conference League. And we're 10 points off RB Leipzig in fourth place as well. However, we do have the game in hand and heading into the first game of today's episode, Rock bottom Schalke on the back of our loss away against FC Köln. Two defeats in our last three, just one win in our last four. If we're going to make a European spot now, we've got to go on a run in our final nine games. And with Schalke, newly pro to the Bundesliga, taking us on at the Schuko Arena. Rock bottom, almost definitely going down. Their demise in recent years has been fascinating. I was thinking, surely, surely this is the game that kickstarts the run we need to get ourselves into a European spot with a few games to go. Early on into the game, we take the lead. A rebound goal, you'd love to see it. Jamie Llewellyn opens the scoring and makes it 1-0 in 20 minutes seem to be fair Schalke almost found their level I don't know what it is but when you're taking on one of the teams that are bottom of the table it always seems to be a little bit more difficult you know especially when you're at home as well I don't really know why but sometimes I find these games more challenging than if you're taking on a side or a European spot for example but despite Schalke having a chance we did have the better start in the game had played the better football in the first half as well and 43 minutes in we sometimes just need a little bit of luck and we got it for our first two goals both goals being really Rebounds here, a uh, shot deflected straight into the path of Okugawa, who turns into the bottom corner and makes it 2 0. And I was thinking, okay, surely back on track here. We've got a favorable run of fixtures coming as well in the next few games. So this could be the start of the run we needed. Five minutes after the restart, though, no, goodness, this was just a shocking, shocking challenge for myself there. Pfeiffer takes his man down, definite penalty, absolutely no complaints whatsoever. And Schuster sent the wrong way from 12 yards. Um, I'm not great at saving penalties, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm really, really poor in terms of my success ratio. Maybe one in every five perhaps gets saved, which I think nowadays you'd probably say is quite a poor record, to be fair. Because obviously, if you go the right way, you'd save it nine times out of ten. But my guessing game is just absolutely terrible. But still, Schalke back in the game, it's 2-1. But I've been the better team. Schalke, to be fair, did make me work for this one. Being rock bottom of the table, taking us on at home. I thought it would be a formality. It certainly wasn't as easy as I was expecting. But we did bounce back and return 20 ways. One win in four, but now a big victory against the side. Are definitely going down. Back to the two-league after one year back in the top flight. 3-1 the final score. And you see the stats here. They dominated possession. They had a couple of really good chances. They scored from the spot. That was a much more difficult game than I was expecting. But the win does mean now we cut the gap on those three teams above us to one. We're seven points off Leipzig. I... I don't think we're going to catch Leipzig in fourth. I mean, there is an outside shot of Champions League football, but to me, all I'm thinking about is fifth and sixth. Those are the spots I'm looking at right now and saying, look, top four will be a dream, but it's very unlikely. However, those Europa League and Europa Conference League spots are definitely a possibility. And because we've got a favourable run of fixtures coming as well, this game here is staying at the Schuka Arena. Hamburg also struggling down the bottom of the table, trying to keep themselves in the Bundesliga. This was another game where I was thinking, we're firm favourites, we've got to win it and the more games you win in succession the more momentum you build the better form you're in which as we know is so OP in Korea and I was thinking these are the opportunities you don't get very often during a season when you've got a run of fixtures where you're firm favorites in every one so again Hamburg down the bottom of the table we took the lead early in the first half Marco Ludwig third goal of the season for the 18 year old and he should have got his fourth in the second half as well four minutes after the restart bearing down on goal great save kept it at 1-0 Ludwig to be fair he's taken out Vimmer as a starting winger in this team and he's not letting me down at all his rating might be quite low but he plays like a higher rated player if that makes sense and 11 minutes after the restart should have doubled our lead here Okugawa smacking the cross but I swear this guy hits the woodwork so frequently man but anyway off the bar still 1-0 and that was how it would finish once again Despite taking on the team right down towards the bottom of the table, it, it certainly wasn't a dominant display. We only took four shots in the game. Defensively, really, we just shut the door on Hamburg and didn't give them any chance whatsoever to get any shots on our goal, which they didn't. So, great to see Schuster to pick up another clean sheet. But 1-0 the final score. And they're not exactly convincing victories against sides right down the bottom of the table. But they are victories regardless, which means that after back-to-back -back wins, seven games to go... 
There we are. Bielfeld are in sixth. One point off Leverkusen in fifth. We're seven off Leipzig still. And two clear and and Gladbach in Stuttgart in seventh and eighth. So we beat the two teams in the bottom two places in the Bundesliga, as you would expect. But again... Having a really favourable run of fixtures here is exactly what I needed. A chance to get consistent form going for the first time in a while. And the longer we keep this up, and if Stuttgart and Mönchengladbach continue to slip up like they have done back to back, there is a chance we could keep ourselves in the top six. Again, I'm not, I'm not thinking about the top four. Seven games to go, seven point gap on RB Leipzig. They're a far superior side. I'm not thinking about it, but... Europa League or Europa Conference League, which I called the Mickey Mouse competition before. Well, now I want it, you know. See, I fixed for April, five of the seven games coming here. And again, really favourable fixtures. You'd say out of all those games there, the only one that is going to be very difficult, or so you'd anticipate, is Wolfsburg, still in the top three right now. So, yeah, it's it's another really good month for us in terms of firm favorite fixtures we've got firm favorite fixtures well where we are firm favorites in the fixtures we've got including this one Werder Bremen right now in the bottom half of the table at the Schuka Arena newly promoted to the Bundesliga facing all three of the newly promoted teams in a row once again at the Schuka Arena thinking okay come on we could not be asking for simpler fixtures at home against newly promoted sides we've got to capitalize on this and make it three straight wins so right from kickoff in this game in attack mode great save on Jamie Llewellyn gets it at 0-0 but I wanted the early goal and hopefully a big win to help with our poor goal difference record right now so yeah right from the first whistle in attack mode had some golden early chances I've taken like five shots in 15 minutes but couldn't find a back in the net but 20 minutes in still 0-0 it was one of those games where it wasn't a case of if but when you know you know you're going to get the goal at some point but when is it going to happen 21 minutes in Jamie Llewellyn goes around three green shirts and finds the back in the net he's really refound refound he really found his goal scoring touch once again our number 10 this season without a shadow of a doubt player of this season still chasing Robert Lewandowski 17 goals in 25 games the Polish striker just too good unfortunately for Llewellyn but it's 1-0 we take the early lead and again the first half oh Armenia Bielfeld another great chance right before the break and I, I love this as well <laughs> got a little bit lucky with this one here as I kind of spoil it for you there rebound goals in FIFA and deflections and so on like I always talk about you know, that, that phrase I often use, luck will balance itself out. Went for a cutback, messed it up, shot block. We get it straight back and then turn in the rebound as Okugawa makes it 2-0. I always talk about it. It's it's so frustrating when you can see the rebound goal, you know, because it's like there's, there's very little you can do about it. But... Yeah, you, know, you you'll score some. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you'll concede some and you'll score some. And I'm a firm believer in this. Luck will balance itself out. So very fortunate second goal will take it. And a game run absolutely dominated. I couldn't believe we were only leading by two at this point. With two minutes to go, we will get our third. Florian Kruger off the bench, embracing his role as a backup striker in this team. Makes it free after Ludwig cuts the ball back to him. But again, I couldn't believe we only won this game by three goals to nil. You'll see the stats in just a moment's time absolutely dominated this game and this was this was kind of a frustrating win if that makes sense because you see our xg it was 8.5 that's possibly the highest xg i've ever had i took 15 shots the Werder Bremen goalkeeper to be fair was on flames for most of the game but an xg of 8.5 and look 3-0 is a good result don't let anyone tell you otherwise but i should have scored more and, and it's those games where i'm like it's a win, it's a big win, but it feels like a missed opportunity because of our goal difference is, is so low compared to the teams around us right now. If we're going to even that out, we need to score more. We need to finish more chances. I should have won that game like 5-6-0. So 3-0 is a good win, but it could have been even better. Having said that, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I absolutely dominated in that game, and I knew to follow into the next one here, away against Eintracht Frankfurt. Our first game on the road after three straight at the Schuka Arena. Win this game it'll be 12 points from 12 and I'd know then that we have a golden chance to make the European spots. Bielfeld believing once more after a really good run. This the most difficult fixture out of the four we've had though. Could we follow it up with another win where well, we were tuning it up 36 minutes in. First Robin Hacks ninth for the season and Marco Ludwig again. Fourth goal of the campaign and he was running the show in this game as well. I tell you this youngster 18 years old I really hope his growth 
kicks on a little bit because we know he's grown over 10 ratings but that's because of the position change from wing back to left when he grew like eight ratings because we position changed him from a defender to a natural winger but if we can if we can just get his growth up a little bit quicker get him into the mid 70s for next season i i will be very pleased with that because he has got a really bright future exciting prospect and he's playing like it and late on in the game 20 minutes to go jamie llewellyn gets another to extend his goal scoring run and i love this goal as well rounds the goalkeeper and look at this for a finish from a tired angle kind of reminded me a little bit of the uh, the Bergvine goal against Leicester during the week I mean not not quite too similar but even so that was a yeah you know, for that goal as well as Frankfurt did get consolation can I just say real briefly no one's giving Bergvine enough credit for that goal man I mean that was incredible the way he rounded Kasper Michael it's the 97th minute and he somehow squeezed it in off the far post off balance with all the adrenaline being 2-2 the latest comeback victory ever overtaken Man City's versus QPR the title winning game all those years ago no one's giving Bergvine enough credit for that finish it was extraordinary unbelievable composure under pressure and great technique as well anyway won the game by three goals to one four straight wins for Bill now as you can see we now jump up to fifth five games to go and after one of our best runs of form of the season we cut the gap on Leipzig to three we're one point clear of Leverkusen and crucially five and six clear of Stuttgart Munch and Gladbach the question is now with five games to go can we maintain a European spot well that will end today's episode of the Bundesliga career my guys big fan of watching hope you have enjoyed if you have a like much love to you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you for another episode of season two very soon.